Hello there, hope you're doing well. Today, we will have a look, at two little useful utility modules, from KV Synth. On the left, we have, Tool. And on the right, the Buff Light. Both modules are packed, with interesting features. I personally think utility modules are underrated. They might not be as appealing as fancy complex modules, but complex modules are mostly simple ideas with lots of integrated utilities. Now, let me introduce you, those units. While both are available already assembled, only the tool can be purchased in DIY kit. For more information on price and format, visit the KV Synth webpage. Simply follow the link below. Now, before we start making some noise, with some nice audio demos. Let me explain briefly each utility functions. Both modules are equipped with a buffered multiple. The buffered of the tool, will generate a constant voltage of 10 volt, when nothing is patched, at the input. Buffered multiples are used to distribute precise copy, of incoming signal. Next, the tool got a cute little inverter. Inverters are used, to flip the polarity of the signal. Positive signal becomes negative, and vice versa. The tool, has a small 3 input sum mixer. Mixers are good for mixing any types of signals. Not only audio. The buff light got a cool slew generator. Slew generators can transform triggers into envelopes. And they can be used for portamento effects. It is also equipped with a magnificent knob, to adjust the slew amount. A passive attenuator, was placed at the bottom, to have a manual control over the amplitude, of any incoming signal. And finally, a white noise source. A white noise is useful to feed sample and hold, for random voltages. Now that the boring instruction stuff is done, and we overlooked the basic utilities, let's see what we can get out of this. By combining those features, you'll be surprised how effective it can get. Hope those couple of patches, will give you some great ideas, for your future creations. The tool is equipped with a constant 10 volt when no cable is patched to its input. Sending the signal to the attenuator, and you'll get a manual control over any desired parameter. You can also use the other end of the cable to drop the voltage. Why not using the slew of the buff light, to change the attack of this control? Ha! Huh. Way better! More smoothness is always better! I thought it would be great to share this little trick. Buffered multiples are useful, for precise voltage duplication. Here I got three Dixie oscillators, already tuned, and I need to have the exact voltage for each one. I could have used some stackable cables or a passive mult, but there's a big risk to get some voltage drops in the process. And it may not be an issue with some parameters, but it would be critical for the pitch of an oscillator. This might not be the most musical sequence of all time, but I assume you get the idea. Let's do the cable trick we just saw, in the previous patch.
Okay now it is time to get a bit more serious. Some modules are equipped with memory recall functions, like those Stilson Hammer, and they need to receive the exact same voltages, if I want them to load a precise location of memory, I sent a constant voltage to the attenuator, so I can have a direct control over the signal that goes to the buffered multiple. As I turn the knob to increment the voltage, the patch evolves each time a new memory is recalled, useful for a live performance, or to eliminate repetitive patterns. Having a constant source of 10 volts, may not seem so essential, but you might find it useful, because there's a couple of tricks you can achieve with it. Here we got a Mutomix that, looks like a total mess, with all those cables. But I'm using some stackable to distribute the voltage to each inputs, then adjusting each level to create a small 6 step sequencer. You probably got some modules in your studio, that can rely on that kind of trick. Ha! Huh. Inverters. Inverters are used to switch signal polarities. Not every modules are equipped with a 10 inverters on their CV inputs. So an inverter used properly can add more details to your patch. Let's do some stereo panning. The subway from KV synth will be a good sound source. We also need two VCA in order to achieve this, so the micro VCA from Intelligil will do just fine. The signal of the subway is going to both VCA inputs. We will split the LFO output with a stackable. One cable goes to the left CV input of the VCA, and the other cable need to go through the inverter first. Send the inverted signal to the right CV of the VCA. If you splitted each VCA output correctly, you should be hearing a nice stereo effect. Playing with the frequency of the LFO can be interesting too. Slew limiters like the one on the buff light, can transform triggers into nice utility envelopes. We will send the now slew trigger, to the CV input of the cutoff frequency of the bionic Lester. Adjusting the attack of the slewed signal with the knob. This CV input of the bionic Lester got an attenuator, but it also accept negative signals. We will send the slew trigger of the buff light to the inverter of the tool. Then send the signal back to the cutoff frequency of the bionic Lester. Now the cutoff will drop instead of rising. Today some envelope modules can generate envelopes on both polarities. But if your envelope generator does not, you can send the envelope signal to an inverter. The effect of the signal polarity can dramatically affect the result. It's always nice to experiment with this.
The Time Safari is equipped with manual switches to control some parameters. If the switch is turned off, a gate can activate the parameter from off to on, but the opposite is not possible. If the switch is turned on, sending any signal will do nothing, but by combining some utility modules we will achieve this. We will send the 10 volt of the buffer to the attenuator, and send the signal to the summing section. The sum output will go to the stereo input of the time safari. Turn the knob until the effect is noticeable. If you send negative signal into the sum mixer, negative signal will subtract proportionally the positive signal. We will send a slew trigger of the buff light to the inverter of the tool and send the signal to the sum mixer. Now each gate signal will close the switch of the time safari. The blue light of this light jack will show perfectly the timing of the negative signal. There's probably some modules in your setup that could rely on this trick. Now we will transpose the notes of a sequence by using the 10 volt of the buffered multiple and the attenuator. We will also need the summing mixer to combine both signals. As you raise the amplitude of the fixed signal, you will start to hear the transposition of the notes. Another simple trick that can bring a lot of variations to short loops. If you got a small Eurorack system, or a huge setup, a small mixer is always useful. The tool's summing mixer will mix your audio signal perfectly. It's mostly the basic function of a mixer, but I thought I could share this with you. The summing mixer of the tool can also mix envelopes and LFO signal. Very practical when you need multiple modulations for one destination. By using the same technique we saw earlier with the slew and the attenuator functions, and by combining the summing mixer and different LFOs, we can build and shape dynamic and more complex modulations.
The tool can also be used as some sort of logic module. Gates or triggers can be mixed in the summing mixer. Both gates will be able to trigger the desired element. But when the voltage of a gate is still present, the other won't be able to trigger anything. Unless we send the signal to an inverter first. As we saw earlier, the negative signal will subtract the positive one. It's always interesting to have some logic options quickly available. Don't you think? The tool is also equipped with a nice analog white noise. A white noise is a random signal, having equal intensity at different frequencies. The signal can be very loud, so I personally prefer to attenuate the signal first. And even better, send the signal through a filter to isolate the frequency range of the signal. Now let's patch the signal to the ODLPG. For some glitchy sounds, adjusting the cutoff, until you are satisfied with the noise. A white noise can be an excellent source of random voltages when combined with a sample and hold. Each time the sample and hold receives a trigger or a gate, the voltage value will be locked until the next trigger. Send this random signal to the pitch of an oscillator, or to any other parameter, and you could hear some beautiful accidents. You can also send the white noise signal directly to any parameter. That's some interesting modulation here. And if you send this signal to the pitch of an oscillator, it will bring some strange wobbles to your sound. The tool and the buff light are two very useful skiff friendly utility modules. When combined, they bring lots of functions and features, both well packed in a small format and affordable too. Hope this video was helpful. For more information on those modules, follow the link in the description below. And feel free to ask, or to comment too. It's always a pleasure to read your love, and your hatred. Thank you for watching.